Welcome to a short video on how to ride the MBTA trains. This video was brought to you by the MBTA's Travel Instruction Program. In this video, an MBTA travel trainer shows us how to identify a train station, how to pay fare, how to request a reasonable accommodation, how to board a train, and how to ask for help while riding the train. In this video, I'll share the basics about riding the MBTA trains. The MBTA's subway system includes both heavy rail, which is made up of the red, orange, and blue lines, and light rail, also called the trolley, which includes the green line and the Mattapan line. Today, we'll talk about the heavy rail. The green line and Mattapan line will be discussed in a separate video. You can identify most stations and stops by looking for what we call lollipop signs because they have the round T logo atop a tall pole. Others just have a big T logo. Signs at T station entrances display the station name on a background that is the color of the subway line or lines that serve that station. Once you have found your station, you will need to pay your fare using a Charlie card. If you have already added value to your Charlie card, you will pay by tapping your card against the black or orange, rectangular or circular card target to your right on the fare gate to open it. If you need any help using the fare vending machine or fare gate, ask a station official or press the information button on a nearby call box. You will find signs displaying the station name and train destination along the platform walls and on freestanding sign panels. Signage will also include information regarding where to find elevators, should you need an accessible path of travel. Digital displays along the platform show the train destination and estimated arrival time of the next train. Destination signage on the front and side of each train and audible destination announcements help you make sure you are boarding the correct train. Benches are available on all subway platforms. As you are waiting for your train, please be aware that at some stations there may be a small gap between the platform and the interior of the train. If you believe you may need help navigating over the gap, you can request the use of a mobile bridge plate. Just let a T employee or ambassador know, or use a call box information button to request one. Regardless of whether or not you use a bridge plate to board, remember to allow passengers to exit the train before boarding. Then move into the car and try to find a seat. Priority seats are available near the doors of every train. If all priority seats are occupied, you may ask an MBTA employee, if available, to assist you in finding a seat. MBTA employees may ask customers in priority seats to move, but cannot force them to do so. Customers will often move when asked. Once seated, place your belongings on your lap. If you use a wheelchair, scooter, or other wheeled mobility device, you will find areas on most trains that provide additional clear space for you to position yourself. If you're standing while on the train, you can use the upright pull, crossbar, or hanging strap. If you have a backpack, hold it in front of you, at your side, or place between your feet to make more space for other customers. As trains approach an upcoming stop, the station name is announced audibly, and in many cases displayed visually. Line maps located above the doors and inside trains show the line that you're on and are easier to read than the system map. You can also look out windows for station names. In case of an emergency while in a station or on a platform, talk to T staff or a T ambassador if available. If you are unable to find an employee, use the emergency button on a call box or call T police at 617-222-1212. If you notice an emergency inside the train, contact the motor person using the passenger emergency intercom. These are located in one or both ends of the older trains and near the doors and in the ends of the new orange and red line cars. The vehicle number is posted near each one. Provide this number to the motor person and explain the emergency. If the motor person notifies passengers of an emergency, listen to and follow instructions. The red, orange, and blue line cars stop at all stations, unless they announce otherwise. So you do not need to request a stop. Just pay attention, gather all your belongings, and exit in a timely manner. When transferring from one line to another within a station, you do not need to pay again. 
For more information, please visit www.mbta.com forward slash accessibility.